What are abnormal findings of this strip? What is your interpretation? Every heart has four chambers. The upper chambers are smaller in size and are known as atria, while the lower chambers are larger, and known as ventricle. Certain heart problems can cause atria to swell. When it happens, it is so called, atrial enlargement. In general, pressure overload and volume overload, are two main conditions that are able to enlarge cardiac chambers. Atrial enlargement happens in two different ways. Atrial dilation and atrial hypertrophy. They have several basic differences. First, atrial dilation is an increase in chamber size, while atrial hypertrophy is due to an increase in wall thickness. Second, atrial dilation is due to an increase in volume overload. For example, mitral or tricuspid insufficiency are well-known causes of chronic volume overload, that gradually lead to atrial dilation. But note that, Atrial hypertrophy is due to pressure overload. Mitral and tricuspid stenosis are common causes of high pressure in left and right atrium respectively. Electrocardiogram is a suitable tool to detect atrial enlargement. But remember that, surface EKG is not sensitive enough to differentiate atrial dilation from atrial hypertrophy. That's why more general terms such as atrial abnormality or atrial enlargement are used instead. Let's see what kinds of electrocardiographic findings may be associated with atrial abnormalities. P wave is the first deflection on EKG strip and indicates atrial activation. So, we expect to detect atrial abnormalities by examining P wave morphology. As we said previously, the amplitude and duration of sinus P waves are normally less than 2.5 and 3 small boxes respectively. Atrial enlargement is associated with an increase in amplitude or duration of sinus P waves. Like many cardiac abnormalities, several electrocardiographic criteria for diagnosing right and left atrial abnormalities are defined. P wave amplitude greater than 2.5 small boxes is indicative of right atrial enlargement. It is also known as pulmonary P waves. The presence of any of the followings is in favor of left atrial enlargement. 1. Duration of negative portion of P wave in B1, greater than 1 small square. 2. The amplitude of negative portion of P wave in B1, more than 1 small square as well. 3. P wave duration equals 3 small squares, which is usually most apparent in inferior leads. In LA enlargement, P waves are usually notched in inferior leads that is so-called, p mite Raleigh. Let's come back to our training strip. Here, P waves are obviously peaked, and about 3 mm tall. Therefore, P pulmonale due to RA enlargement is present. The underlying irregularity, is owing to PACs. Let's go through another example. In this strip, the P waves are oddly broad. The duration of P wave is approximately 3 small squares. Both amplitude and duration of negative portion of P wave in lead V1, are more than 1 small square. So, according to definition, left atrial enlargement is present. Broad QRS complex is due to left bundle branch block. Thanks for watching this video. If you are interested in learning more about electrocardiogram, subscribe me and ring the bell for next videos. Have fun!